I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough when it comes to other people. I'm not as good as other people. And let me tell you something. This is an epidemic feeling like you're not good enough because way too many of us spend our days comparing our imperfect lives to perfect strangers on the internet. And so the feeling like you're not good enough, you're not measuring up, that there's some sort of imaginary race that you're running against the rest of humanity and that by now at this point in your life, you're supposed to be at a certain place. And how do you know that? Because every time you look on social media, there are hundreds of people in your face that seem to be at the place that you thought you would be. And so that just reinforces it. And oh my God, the default network is getting stronger. If that's how you feel, you're not alone. That was the single biggest one that we noticed in all of your comments from all over the world, I am not good enough. And we heard loud and clear that you got it from your mom or you got it from your dad or you got it from some horrible person that you were in a relationship with. And the problem is you started to believe it and it got encoded in the default network. So now that you've seen it, good job. You can't get rid of the default until you actually spot it. And now that you've seen it, I want you to realize for the rest of your life, for the rest of your life, you have a job. And your job is to make sure that when that default network kicks back up and you start to murmur that you're too old, you're not smart enough, you're not good enough, that is a moment where you have got to do a mindset reset. And the way that you're going to do it because you're learning that there's two modes of your brain, the default, I'm not good enough, and the deliberate, oh yeah, I can try, is we're gonna teach you that you can think this, not that. That whenever this default mode comes up of I'm not good enough, I'm not smart enough, I'm not enough, whatever enough is, that you can spot it as the default and you can get deliberate and you can say something different. In the body, of this broadcast on Facebook, on YouTube. Where else are we putting this? On uh, uh, Twitter. On Twitter. Although it won't be on Twitter, the, the copy. But on, in the email that we're about to send you with links to this video and on YouTube and on Facebook, we are going to give you a very long description of alternatives on, on how you think this, not that. And we're going to give you some things that you can play around with to insert, to start to build a deliberate network. And if you don't like these, no problem. Make something up that you really like. But the point is, is that if you don't get deliberate, you will be stuck with the default mode of thinking. And the way that you, the way that you reprogram your default mode of thinking so that the default becomes positive and the default becomes courageous and the default becomes loving, is first you catch the negative default and second, you direct it to something deliberate. So instead of thinking, no one likes me, this is mine because I think I'm a bad person. No one likes me. What I want you to think instead is the right people love me. That's pretty powerful. That's really powerful for me. I constantly remind myself that the right people love me that the right people are in my life. Instead of saying, oh, nobody likes me or I'm not part of that group, I remind myself that the right people, the people I need, they're the ones that are in my life right now. If you're somebody who says, I'm too old, I'm too old, here's what I want you to say, I have plenty of time. Or you could say, I have so much experience, I'm definitely gonna succeed. If you say, I'm too young, then say, anything you want from I have plenty of time to learn what I need to learn to a to being young is an advantage to whatever it is the point that I'm trying to make is if your default is negative I don't want you to think that I want you to catch it when you do and then I want you to think this something positive positive. 